today's recipe is a quick, super easy uh, curry peanut sauce we're gonna do with a little chicken satay kind of thing. But I'm standing in front of my pantry because I get asked questions about this all the time. What do you have? What should I have? What's good to keep? Blah, blah, blah. We'll do a video about this, but today, the curry peanut sauce, let's go. We start with a little pot. We add the following. Cup of coconut milk, about a cup of peanut butter, chunky, plain, smooth, whatever you like. A couple tablespoons of soy sauce, brown sugar, a couple tablespoons, a tablespoon of sriracha, and under the stove it goes. And now it's just a matter of heating, stirring, getting it smooth, and seeing how it looks. Well, it's gonna take a bit till it, uh, till it gets there, but it's just, you know, look, take your time, there's no rush. Let it start to do its thing. And I completely forgot, we need to add two tablespoons of red curry paste. My bad, my total bad, but we can still do it, it's fine, it's fine, come on. So one, and two. I know, it doesn't look very good right now, I understand that, but it's going to. You see how it's starting to loosen up a little bit? That's what we want. At this point, I can switch to a whisk. While that's doing its thing, let's get some chicken ready. I did say little chicken satay thing. Did I say? Did I say? Yes. I said little chicken satay thing, so we'll get those ready. Okay, so chicken thigh, right? Bone in. Chicken thigh. We'll cut it off the bone. And now we just want to make like little bites of this. And these little pieces of fat, you know what? Honestly, I'm kind of cool with that because it just adds a little bit extra flavor, you know? Fat tends to be flavor, so. I cut each of these little strands into about three-ish, and then we go like this. Take our skewers, poke them up. Let's do, we'll go like three on each, right? Okay, that's looking beautiful. We'll turn it down a little bit. So we give them a little oil. I'm using avocado oil, a little salt and pepper, and by the way, I keep it mixed to make life easier. And then we'll flip, we'll do both sides. And then onto a grill pan, and down they go. Fantastic. So clearly I've made more curry peanut sauce than I need, but that's okay because we can let it cool and then save it for another day. And I'm telling you, just on a bowl of rice, some of this over the top with some shrimp, it's all fantastic. Nice, doing the right thing here. Getting some color. Okay, and here we go. Nice, we flip. Uh-oh, losing some stick, that's all right. Now I'm gonna start to give it a little of the peanut sauce. Let it do its thing. Okay, so they're almost ready, so here's how we're gonna plate. Nice, a little brown rice. Our skewers are about to come over. Look at that, look how beautiful those are. And this is something you can just keep in your fridge and pull out when you need it. And of course a little green, how could you not have green? Chicken, beef, pork, shrimp, whatever, scallops, they'll all benefit from this. Hell, just put some on top of rice and eat it with a spoon at 12 o'clock at night and you'll be happy. And the gorgeousness of it all. It's amazing. Let's have a bite, shall we? Love it, love it, and just keep it in the fridge and put it on freaking everything. 